right, we talked about this over on the build page about how close this is going to run on the 86 stuff. If it don't, if we can't make it work, I'll have to go back to the, uh, like a 78 uh, front of the block. I, I, I'm thinking it will work. It's going to be close. Uh, There's going to be probably some modifications involved here, like everything else. But I have to have six inches to clear that out there. This is flat on there. Get pretty flat on there on the edge of that intake. I'm right at the six inch mark. I'm like seven eighths. Five and seven eighths. And I'm gonna go out here, we're gonna try to get a video of, of that out there. Make sure it's flat. Yeah, I'm like five and seven eighths, just a, a, a touch on that six. I mean, by the time those are cleaned up, my, I got a new water pump coming. You know, like everything else. But let's go out here right now and look and see what where we at on the truck, which I know the fan will have to come off of it and run an electric fan. But let's go check it out. It is bolted down in place. So this is where it has to run. I don't think, well... I have to space everything else out then, but there is, I have an eighth of an inch here. Uh, this is pretty long inside. I could probably come out here an eighth. <clears throat> I have to move everything else out of eight to do that. But let's, uh, let's go out here and check it out. Let's see what we got. As you can tell, it's, it's going to be close. Um, let's remeasure this thing right quick and see because i may depending on the machining on the pulley coming for the water pump and the balancer uh almost don't want to focus down or too good on the balancer down there that belt's gonna ride right on the edge of this pulley of course why well, take the fan off of it and run the electric fans? But let's uh, let me, if I can't get set up here and show you the measurements on this from the edge of the intake in there, it's out there. And I may go with the block from the block out and then check the measurements in there again on the block. But let's check the intake because they're all took out about the same on it. And we'll go from there. Let's, let's check it out. All right, so what I did is I, I found an extension that's uh, exactly six inches. I'm gonna try to, if you look through the hole there by the AC, you'll see where my extension will touch the intake and it will bring it out to the edge of that pulley. Now, of course, the other pulley or your uh, tension is gonna keep it, keep it off of it. But coming from the bouncer down there up to it is where we're probably going to be tricky. I mean, it is offset a little bit. That's going to help. That should keep the belt off of that. But the two belts from the supercharger and the serpentine belt there is going to be close if it, if it works. But there's our six inch. So... It ain't going to give us a lot of room. And I'm touching the intake over there. And that one measurement came up to uh, <clears throat> like five and seven eighths if it's very accurate. I'm not sure how accurate it is, but we'll find out. But even there, if we miss the water pump pulley, if we miss the water pump pulley, it will still be at the edge of the serpentine belt. <clears throat> so both those belts will be real close. Those parts are supposed to be here <clears throat> before next weekend. And we'll uh, mount everything up in there uh, on the stand. 
and see how this thing's gonna bolt up. But anyway, we're gonna make it work one way or the other. I mean, whatever we got to do, we're gonna make it work. It'll be right. I mean, that'd be nice to have it that close. I'd be interesting. So here we go, on on with it. This here was a engine that was put in. It's got 20,000 miles on it. It was a crate. Of course, they leak oil, you know. Uh, the guy went back and put the, the 305 back in it, uh, just like what the truck came with. <clears throat> then we're changing the AC compressor. We'll get the R12 compressor out. Get the 134 on here. And then I may get some custom brackets made for it and the power steering pump. Make it look a little better, you know. Try to make it right. May not change it at all. We'll see when we get there. All right. Here we go. Let's uh let's line this thing up. Try to fire this thing up in a minute, but you know this thing is uh a lot of it in here is original. The truck was like 99% or 98% when I got it. Still got the jack instructions. The handling all over there. Got a new jug for it coming. I think I mentioned it already. New jug and the resort reservoir. But the fan motor back there, it, it may be original. I know when I turn the fan on, it's got a pretty good howl to it. But then we will change all the AC lines and the dryer. Now, on these trucks, you know, People change them over to 134 and they leave the original condenser in the front of them. Then complain that they're not uh, cooling as well as it should. You got a round tube cooler up there. Put you a uh, flat tube condenser in them and it'll be a whole lot better. I think we can see this one here. Let me look here and see. Well, it's got the round tube in it. Get that round tube out of there put you a flat flat fin I mean not flat fin flat tube uh, cooler and condenser in there and your 134 will cool better <clears throat> try it out that's what you think but anyway that that battery right there is hot enough we'll fire this thing up I'm not gonna stop the video I'm gonna keep it going just like it is battery may be low on it I don't know try it out and see that quick I ain't gonna stop the video. We don't do none of that firing up trick mess. Let it get warm because it ain't been fired yesterday. Let's try it out. Hook it up. Don't crank all the charge that battery soon. <clears throat> it's been a little while since I cranked it. Probably, I don't know. Month or so, I guess. Let's see if she will crank. I don't know if she will. She don't? I'm sorry. Good. 
video of it down there. Them balancers, they always wobble. Look how straight that one there is. So I mean, the, the guy who assembled it did pretty good for those crate engines. Man, they, they leak. You know, sometimes they come with the rear seal, front seal on them. And they're, they're built up. They're built to sell, you know what I mean? You know, we're not knowing what what cam they put in that thing. It's probably a, uh, it, it kind of sounds like a 272 to me. I, I bet it's a comp cam. Now, being 86, that's right on the edge of, uh, you know, going to a roller. So, I don't know if it's flat tap it or roller in there. I haven't been inside to check it out. But if it is a flat tap it, somebody done a good job on, on breaking that thing in. But anyway... So next week's video uh, coming up, all my parts show up. We're gonna try to line that supercharger up with the front of this thing and see if uh, we can make it work. Thanks for watching.